free will is like a hmm go ahead sushma go go ahead we lost her okay she's connecting go ahead sushma go डेस्टिनी but you can go by walk you can go by plane you can go by car these are the options you have you have a free will to go however you want so mm-hmm. in our life as well right so you you choose your families you choose um, the people surrounding you as per your karma and the divine mm-hmm. plan, right so you have um, for example I'm, i'm just giving as an example don't take anything personally so you have a someone maybe you know parents who who are very mean to you or you mm-hmm. know your husband is not good to you so you have an option there how to be with them right you have a free will there you wanted to be mean back at them or you wanted to be patient and clear your karma so that is the free will you always we always have the free will we always have the options but the right. destiny is what we bring so did yeah. i am i right the way so little bit i'll add little bit more to it so see yes. what you are saying is the path of reaching your destination or dealing with karma is what you said right uh-huh. like my husband or my i have a bad family i have a choice either i live with a family or you know i i deal with the karma or you know let go and move on right and then deal with that karma next time right whichever way mm-hmm. so the free will is it that runs one level higher to it meaning say you came into this world you came with some baggage right now as you start knowing that say think about this i have a balance sheet i balance sheet has two parts to it debit and a credit right i have a debts and i have money sitting there money let's assume it's all good good work that you have done debit or the losses or the you know uh, you know your uh, debit side of the world or all the credits that you have is all your bad karma that you have currently what happens is we don't even know what bad karmas we have we don't even know we don't list it we don't know about it we just know and we don't know what good things we have done as well so we basically look at the balance sheet we don't even look at our balance sheets we just keep going from one way to another and we keep doing what you know and we make choices in the right in the path that we have been choosing but imagine if you have a clear view of your balance sheet now i know i have a debt i know i have an asset sitting there somewhere but my asset is not enough to clear my debt now i have to make a choice i can still go and make a change in my lifestyle to make my debt go away my credit card bills go away my income is not that high i have a 10000 dollars credit card bill my income is not not that big i need to make choices to live my life differently to get the 10000 credit card but that will you will do only when you know your 10000 there is a credit card balance right now free will works in that where i know my credit that i have a debt and now i am doing my actions with free will to do what i have to do right now the free will comes from couple of things as i said integrity authenticity that basically helps you in building that free will and knowing your credits in your life the biggest piece of all that is living responsibly now what is living responsibly i'll give you something example many times what we do is we do an action right but we somehow refuse to take ownership of the action itself like i'll say i lost the match why did i lose the match my team sucked i am not saying i played bad 
I blamed it on other people to say they sucked. So we lost the match or I lost the match. So there is a lack of responsibility even for the actions that we did. I'm, I'm not saying I played bad or whatever. You know, the ball did not go. There was a win there. There was this there, that, that there, right? So that is basically the first level where you are almost deemed to be like an animal. Let me share my screen. Right? Which is basically you are not even looking at and saying, hey, by the way, I am responsible for my action. It's a low consciousness living. Second is you feel responsible for your action, which is a human way of living. Many times we don't even take responsibility of the actions that we have done. We'll find an excuse where or, where or not. Third way of living is where you feel responsible for everything which is going on around the world. Now you will come back and say how if people are being you no know, beggars or whatever, that's not my responsibility. I didn't do anything about it. My husband or my family members are mean or whatever. That's not my responsibility. I did not do anything about it. Right? But that is where the responsibility of the level three comes into play. Where you are, think about this, right? So what you are doing is because of my karma or my credit card bill, which I had just created for myself, I am having X in my life. So if I take off my credit bill, I have, I can change how my balance sheet looks like, which is free will. So how do you know that your husband or your family or your colleagues, all of them are not good? That comes from within you because you have created certain credits in your life. The surroundings around you are also responding exactly the way it's supposed to be done. Simple example, your credit card bill is $10,000. You apply for a new credit card. No, anybody will give you, nobody will give you. You can always come back and crib and say, nobody's giving me a credit card. I need more money. Nobody will give you money. Why? Because you have a credit, credit bill of $10,000 sitting in your account, which you have not paid. Exactly same thing here. What happens is there is something called mirror neurons in your body. Which basically, the way you showcase yourself, the way you respond, not from this life, but from the previous life, person in front of you and person around you react exactly the same way. If you are acting as a lean and mean guy, person that you don't want any nonsense and you want to go upright and blah, 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 people around you start responding to you exactly the way you want them to start responding after a period of time. And imagine how many births we have taken. So we have accumulated so much of vasanas that we call, right? Bad credits in our life, where things around us are also happening in the same way. Once you start taking responsibility of everything which is going around you, that is when you start getting the free will. Where I take the responsibility, what is going around me, now I have to make a change in the way the things are happening around me because it is my responsibility. Once your thought goes into that momentum where you are thinking everything around me is my responsibility, it is happening because of my you know, projection, now you are talking about free will, that I want to make a change in everything that I'm doing. I'm not talking about whether you go in a bus or a car. I will not go to Houston. I want to go to Kashi. You can make that change for moksha. That's a free will that you made. right? So I can change the destination itself and the way I will go to my destination once I start looking at things and saying that is my responsibility. Thing is, what is happening around us is not some vague toss of dial, you know, dice, that God played a dice. It's not that. It's not a dice game where it just randomly happened. It happened because it was created by my credit card or my credits, which I had created with so many years, good or bad. And because of that, I am 
consuming either good or bad now that's my responsibility i'm saying think about the give example let think in a normal way think about modi tea shop person whatever you know sitting there he had choice he could have said i'll continue to live the choice of a you know selling tea and with the smarts that he has he could have created a starbucks or a tea box or something like that and lived his life right but he took responsibility to say whatever is happening in my house and around me has to be changed and you can say it is a destination there are 10000 people like that who are in the same position they have not changed they are there exactly where they are it took a free will to say i i see this as a responsibility unless and until you see things around you as your responsibility that free will does not come into play free will does not mean i want to make my life amazing free will comes into play where you are saying i want to make everything around me perfect is that concept shushma ji i'm not sure that did it work out did you understand that yes yes sir i'm very beautiful saying yeah so for everything or any situation in our life is because we created it ourselves correct so the responsibility correct. if you go to uh, buddhist thing right they they chant namyo ho renge kyo i'm not sure if you have seen that uh it's a shoko uh, buddhist mo- you know area where they say namyo ho renge kyo it's a buddhist saying it's a pali namyo ho means me renge kyo is white lotus so basically the whole saying is the way white lotus blooms un- under the mud make me bloom like the white lotus everything around me is bad but i want to bloom like a white lotus i have a buddha inside me I, there are buddha inside everybody around me i want to make sure that the buddha around everybody bring comes into conscious and one of because i used to do this you know chanting when i was in college so the whole responsibility is if you go and say hey, by the way my boss is bad they will say go chant namyo ho renge kyo because it is you who is projecting bad that's why your boss is bad on you and you don't believe me when i started my career i had the worst at least i used to believe there was a worst kind of boss i could ever find very very tough to deal with but slowly after chanting for a month or so i started realizing that you know what it's good for me too it's something that i slacked when my boss is helping me do it and the equation changed i moved away very quickly from that boss but the equation also changed to the namyo ho renge kyo it's like me i am the one who is projecting in outside which is causing the pain happiness everything back to me it's a vicious circle i take the responsibility for everything which is happening around me and i will use my free will to change which is happening around me any comments i'll take a pause no one can you guys hear me though yes ram garo the thing is like still getting into the head like what exactly so basically yeah so think tell me what you understood and let's see if i can elaborate I mean, yes, <laughs> uh, i mean i understood what you are saying but uh, just trying to think uh, i mean uh, being myself is not alone like i have to think about the surroundings too like i mean everyone correct see so, think about this right so think about again i give as i'm you know i said think about modi or the latest padma shri awardees and all that examples think about it yeah. like one of the padma shri awardee was he did not study because he his village had no school 
so he started selling apple or whatever fruits in the in the on the street and he used to collect some amount of money every day and he opened a school in his village i am saying that is at a physical level where he made the change for the larger group outside of him why because he took the responsibility he said the responsibility of not having a school is his as much as the government or anybody else other people they have blamed it not me government sucks not me my mla sucks not me somebody else sucks that's why i did not study that's the first level where you are not even taking responsibility that you did not try second people set of people would be okay i did not have a school here i will go away from it i will swim one river and i'll go to second village and i'll study there that's a second level of being human third level i'll open it there where i'll using the free will to open one school in the village where nobody bothered to do it and but i'm saying this is example at the physical level think about your own place right where things happen around you first thing we do is blame it not me some other thing is happening to i will take action which is not changing things but it could be like say what you said right shushma ji i'll go to houston i'll change my route i'll go rob walk or i will take a bus or i'll take a flight that's a human way of thinking karma the yoga karma yoga way of thinking is completely different saying what is happening the destination or the surrounding circumstances of this credit for me is my creation my responsibility i have to make the change once you start thinking that this is my responsibility you will get a way to make a change because your free will kicks in i want to seriously this is my responsibility my husband is yelling at me every day he is you know my wife or whoever be the case right i'm or my kids are not listening to me they are being no, you know completely obnoxious they they you know back talk at me blah 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 whatever is happening my responsibility that this is happening to me once you realize that as a, this is my responsibility and start thinking from that angle you will start using free will you will start making change in your life first which will impact the way kids react to you i think some of the people must have heard that sushma uh, not sushma not, not seema seema uh, interview miss seema same thing right my kids are not listening blah 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 meditation made the change now kids are like oh what a mom is mom is doing is perfectly fantastic go back and help mom complete change in the way the attitude how did where did it change it changed within her first not outside her it changed within her she took the responsibility of everything which is going around her her parents her husband her kids and she said yeah i had to make a change where does the change start change starts within me any thoughts no no thoughts i know it's little little hard but unless it will be com- communicate and talk it will be you not grasp it it's important that we talk to grasp what it is as we keep talking about you know there's buddha in everyone but that is where it comes into play that you are living consciously with a powerful cognition that you are buddha you are parama shiva you are the shiva and everything around you is your doing your responsibility
when uh, you are talking about sorry shanti go ahead ramgaru when you are talking about this you are you are, i mean uh my thing like sorry should you're talking about me and my family or me and the society this is what i'm confused correct so there are two parts to it Allegedly. you start with you yourself then you use expand it to you your family mm-hmm. and you go to your your family and extended family then you go to your your family extended family and then so to society see okay. unless and until you start changing taking responsibility of yourself everything which is happening to me is my responsibility most of the people will cognize that right almost some people if, if you are thinking karma is what is driving it but if you are doing a powerless karma then it's a problem that hey karma is driving me i am powerless then it's a problem that then you need to first change that karma is driving you but you are not powerless there is a possibility to make a change that's a first consciousness second consciousness is yes karma is driving me karma is also it's i am responsible for myself i am also responsible for people i have chosen my immediate family i have chosen them i have chosen them for a reason my responsibility things are going good bad ugly my responsibility then you go back further out my immediate family or extended family then or friends then you go into society unless and until you keep increasing the area of influence like seven habits say right area of influence you will not reach a society i suddenly if i can can't get up in the morning and say now from now on all day frisco is my responsibility it doesn't work right you need to first make sure that yes me my family my immediate family my friends everything which is happening around me my office my boss my subordinates my responsibility if uh, i mean in my in my case like i mean i should i don't know whether i can say my or not for me i never felt like that i mean touch word like uh, god has given me everything which is happy like even my kids like there is nothing which i oppose them or i just listen to them and they listen to me we understand i mean in my case everything is good so where should i change like i no. mean what is there i should so the question is this when you say good yes so what is the definition of good good is in my uh, what i say good is everything is going well everyone is happy everyone wants to do what they wants to do and i don't, i mean i can talk about me i cannot talk about my kids because they they sh- they show happiness but what is in their heart i don't know right i can only say like me my husband we we understand each other we are happy we don't have any arguments we when it comes to other also we listen i mean not other we as of now i'm just talking about me my husband and my two kids so So okay let me ask you this so what is your destination uh that i don't know like uh, this is all something new which i'm learning i came into meditation which makes me I mean, so first thing you need to understand is what is your destination i'll tell you my destination okay 20 30 years back my destination would have been grow in the career make money right after a while that changed and said hey kids go into good colleges whatever whatever and my destination that is it within 5 years after coming into 2 you know, years maybe my we came into meditation and all that our destination has changed for me it is like i know kids have chosen their life they will go where they have to go my destination is to now reach moksha now i am responsible to do it but there are many many hurdles in between me and moksha why because my balance sheet is not zero to get to moksha your balance sheet has to be zero no good yeah. no bad so there are enough bad and enough good on me 
No, I need to clear both to reach there, and that is my responsibility. Okay. From past okay. lives, from this life, from any anything that has happened, I need to clean it. So now my responsibility is to how to make my balance sheet zero. It could be small things. If you ask me, you know, from from third party, if you ask me, life is good. Life is good. You know, you can't ask anything more. But thing is, depends on the destination. Once you set your destination, then you will realize whether your responsibility, whether you are right. If the, the whole integrity, all all the things that I am talking about, will that take you to your balance sheet being zero or not? That is. What Otherwise, I... balance sheet will remain positive. You will have a more worth. Okay, that that is what confusing me because uh, now, like uh, as you said, you wanted to do that. For me, like I never thought, I never felt like, uh, oh, this is not the thing which ha- should have happened. Like everything went as, I mean, it's with my will or without my will, but. everywhere i never felt regret or i never felt you don't have to see think about this balance sheet even if it is positive where you're feeling happiness or you find a moment where you want to live longer that itself is an incompletion so this is what a tough thing like i don't know what is my destination then how should i find you need to meditate on that see so you need to figure out what you want to do So think about this, right? It's easy to say I want to have nirvana, but before you reach there to get to nirvana or whatever, there are so many things that you have to clear up. That is what I'm trying. Like I mean, being a not trying though. Like I mean, I'm learning lot of new things. Like. Um, for example after coming to meditation only as uh, i completely stopped judging and uh, i am like uh, i'm a non vegetarian i uh, with my like with with my own intention only i i kind of changed myself like it's not force it's like with with will mm-hmm. with happiness i became a vegetarian and uh, i i try like uh, not try i try to be in present moment and not think about past not think about tomorrow this all things i'm i'm practicing and i'm i'm trying my best to put it in and this is what something new i'm learning like uh, and that is trying it is little hard to get into my head like like no it will it will come see end of the day topics are little heavy also right it is you know it's, it's not something that you can do it in a day frankly I mean, it took me one one and a half years to Uh, internalize each one of them for me you know even now i i do something wrong with comes to integrity or whatever right I mean suddenly i'll i'll say something then i realize i never meant it so why did i say it in a in a heat of things so it it's a it's something that you will have to internalize slowly and steadily sushma ji you you raise your hand sorry uh so yeah in the same note right ramgar i was just uh, uh, thinking about shanti's question even before right people ask like you know um, i have everything i want uh, i don't have any issues or any problems why should i meditate right? <laughs> <laughs> it comes to the same thing right so yes you 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 are happy because you have all the things you want right you are attached there that you have the desire so all of us in general our, our final destination is letting go of that attachment right we have to come to that detachment point we have to let go of those desires so for that yes we still have to take this uh, you know incarnations and let go of this karma cycle it's not just the problems right we are happy because we have something so it is happy because we got something we are happy because we have a loving family so there is an always condition there so we have always have that attachment right so all of us our goals are like come to the detachment let go of our desires right i know we are doing it because it is now you know we are doing meditation and we are 
putting an effort but it should come from the inside the detachment right like a small example there is a diabetic patient so doctor says like you know you should not eat any sweets or any desserts right so you go in front of the sweet shop and yes because doctor said you should not eat it is bad you are not eating you are forcibly you know going away from the shop and you are not eating but you inside you have that to eat you are just forcibly uh, you know stopping that wish so that is also bad because you still have the desire right that is also bad that also causes stress and that is also a cause for diabetes so the main thing intention of that is you have to let go of that desire it should come naturally so even our life is like that right yes we are all doing things because we wanted to be happy and all the, but you know be, we are still in that attachment so that detachment complete uh, coming to that point of complete detachment is uh, is a very long journey and it takes a lot of lives as well uh, so yeah i just wanted to uh, no so valid point i'll tell you simple things right you know end of the day when we are talking about integrity authenticity responsibility or we talk about incompletions i'll tell you example right think about when you when you see people around you you will start realizing let's right? say some people uh, you know lot of money but very very miserly they'll keep the peop- money in they'll count the money they'll keep the money back in next next karma because of the karma that they have i know I mean, it might sound funny but they might actually become an accountant in a in a bank i see crores of movie money moving in front of me i keep counting the money but nothing is mine that's the karma which you will get you know thing is that attachment of anything else leads to next balance sheet that you just created for yourself so we need to think from our point of view is what is the destiny that we are trying to or destination that we want to reach that is when you start realizing okay how many where is my balance sheet now now you go and say based on the balance sheet what do i want to do now but i know we have only 3 minutes left so i'll just cover the last part of the topic which is enriching which is again very simple most of us are doing it here no when you learn when you are living your life to the fullest also expand it and do continuously expand it and give it to other people right enrich other people make other people complete help them improve like say as i said husband family it has happening because of you now think about this right say family i'm i'll give a seema subhash you know example parents very very brutal or you know being very hard very tough beating them whatever right parents they you what is happening with you is your responsibility so they are doing it because you wanted you created the life the way it is but what happened is they have also your parents and they have also accumulated the bad karma even though they are giving it to you because of whatever previous karma activity they are accumulating negative credits into their life for every time they raise their hand they raise their voice they say back to you or to anybody else how do you enrich them so it is not just about oh i am responsible i will take care of things and the family is happy if family people are doing lack of integrity lack of authenticity lack of whatever or incompletions in life in their life how do you enrich their life so you go from yourself to your immediate family to the extended family and to the society it's not about should i take care of an old age home or whatever you can you know but it gives you some amount of 
debits in life but nothing gives you more debit than enriching other people and helping them grow into purnatma or making them complete so that is what you need to think about that is enriching not giving money not trying to you know go help people and all that oh, i didn't understand sorry enriching in what way so basically helping people sorry one second so helping people in understanding their incompletions their integrity having a life of integrity having a life of authenticity having a life of responsibility you learnt it you enrich say i'm just saying right your parents your husband your children whoever it be be you have understood yeah I, you know there is something called incompletion i need to take off my incompletion i need to live my life with integrity i need to live my life with authenticity i have to live my life with responsibility that and you are taking responsibility for your children and your husband and your related family and everything else but how do you make sure that they understand that they have to live the same way that you are living your life with integrity with authenticity with responsibility without having completions having a purnatma that is enriching not just you you need to start expanding and enriching other people that is when now you are creating a, a pyramid chain the people around you are also becoming purnatma along with you but for that you need to start doing living the life of karma yogi from day for yourself so once you start living it then you start it. that's why reason why if you look at it i think there was a pyramid master i think there's a grand master here we i was listening to his story first day he was sitting in a meditation mode and suddenly he saw one person you know in a himalayan cave very very old and he just opened his eyes somebody asked what what did you see i think he was uh, doing it uh, some grand master he said i saw the uh, you know uh, a cave very dark cave i saw one yogi very old long hair and everything else and he was smiling and i came back he said try again he could not go he was i saw i was cam scared so they called patri ji in the next session and he actually patri ji already knew about him because grand master had told him they said okay let's meditate again they went in into the cave again deep inside the cave he found the same you know the long hair of the you know yogi sitting there and then first time he saw the face he was smiling at him so patri ji asked him ask him who is he he asked he said i am you and that's when he realized that he was a himalayan yogi in kalasha mountain ranges for who did tapasya and he achieved a lot of you know uh, self realization consciousness and everything for a, in a great way but he did not expand or tell other people about what he learned so they told him to go back now and teach people what you learned and that is why he had another birth even though that that he is he was a great great master he did not get moksha he had to come back because he had to teach and now he is teaching and he is from nellur you know a normal business class family doing some shops and everything else but that's what he was born but good that he realized as a very young age that why he came back to this life what is the destiny that he was missing i will end this entire thing with a quick thought for you right so when we all come to this world we all come with some goals why again as i said as a balance sheet 
when we go up we again go back and look at it and say how bad how bad or how good is your balance sheet right? you you need a five birth plan or a 10 birth plan or a one birth plan you know it depends on you right some people will say you know what i i don't want a five birth plan because you have seen here heard this stories many many times in our puranas where a rakshasa will basically krishna gave the gave a uh, you know boon to the two gods that either you have to fight against me and die three times or you have to be my and consumed by me or you have to be my bhakta and stay in the earth for seven years seven seven lives they chose the first three and that's why they say ravana was one of them kumbhakarna was one of them ravana was another one kumbhakarna was one of them he said i'm better off getting killed three times by you and then coming and consume but i don't want to stay seven seven lives right the so same thing with us so based on a balance sheet we need to make a decision how many jumps how many births more will require to get this done you want to take all the pain in one or you want to take the pain little separated out in different ways so generally what happens is when you come once you come into the earth you are entitled so it's called mooladhara all your consciousness gets into your mooladhara but mooladhara is also maya so as soon as you come in you forget everything that you planned for and from mooladhara there is only two ways to go up either you go up which is bhur bhuva swah tat savit sa satya loka seven lokas up which is a moksha loka or you can stay in a bhu loka where you are enjoying everything you are living your life perfectly you are using all the balance sheet and bank balance that you have credited for yourself or you go into patala atala vetala sutala patala they are doing all the bad things that you can do in this life and all of that is merged by maya the thing is how do you first realize as i said what is your destiny and that can come only when you move your mooladhara up take the kundalini up is only way you will realize why that maya gets broken and they say once your kundalini awakens and goes up to manipura ka chakra it never comes down because that point in time you have realized why you are here what did you plan can you finish it off in one will one goal or you will finish it in four lives your choice how fast can you burn your karmas so basically we need to figure out what is our destiny for that meditate meditate to a level where your consciousness awakens to tell you that you are away from maya and tells you where you want to be bring it to the manipura ka chakra now you will start knowing what you have to do why you are here what is the purpose for you for you to be here what is the plan that you build for yourself grand plan because generally when we look at all those you know poor people mentally retarded people or whatever in india or in the roads and all that we we feel some people feel sorry we feel disgusted but what we should not feel or disgusted or sorry for them reason being it could be only two things that that happened to them because of the past karma either they decided that i want to have a finish every bit of my bad karma in single life if you do that you will have to go through a lot of pain that could come in any ways right it could be because you are living a life of a beggar you are living a life where you are not strong mentally you physically you are not there you are getting you know pushed around by people around you but only thing is that that is what you have chosen but thing is some people live and don't change it because you know they don't have the powers to do it or they feel that they don't 
it's karma i can't do much about it or you basically want to change it through your free will that's why if you look at all avadhutas they also live like that they sleep on the floor they sleep on the road you know they'll sleep somewhere in the temple don't all you know torn clothes or whatever right there's a difference between them and the beggars because these people they live the way because they have realized it what i have to do why am i here and they live with it but anyway i mean I'm, that's going into philosophy but point is that's the destiny we need to understand for that you need to meditate get to a point where we are able to eliminate the maya which is sitting in the muladhara take the maya out once you take the maya out that's when you start having unclutching with your you know all the worldly things maybe next time i'll talk about the five states of consciousness right uh jagrut shup uh, jagrut swapna shushupti and turiya from the from the uh, mando upanishad we'll talk about that next next session but one thing i'll also talk about is why do we have mouse as ganesha's uh vehicle what is the uh, meaning behind it and where does ganesha zadupati of so we'll talk about it in next class but just a parting thought think about it try to understand why you have or what you have decided for yourself to be to to take your bank balance and use it or you want to consciously figure out where you want to be and go about it any last thoughts before we close the session and i also want a feedback i mean i'm not sure i'm saying it but i want feedback from everybody does it again not that i am i know all i have whatever i have tried to read learn listen i'm trying to put it in in some words i'm not sure if it is making sense if you disagree with me please be feel free to do it because i'm not i'm not claiming that i know it or i know it all there are a lot of things i am learning myself as i do it i have a question sure i got the enriching part what you were saying like whatever we are doing we have to we have to extend our knowledge to others mm. so they can also start in for example i'm just giving example of meditation right now mm. right but my question is like previously you said about you have to watch your bank balance what is in your karma credit mm. or debit whatever it is i mean i will i will give you the destination you have to tell me like how first of all how do you know like what is my balance sheet second thing uh, the in the last class you talk about integrating three four things in this suppose if i have a destination to open a foster care or for the old age people Mm. that's my destination so where this integrity part and the balance sheet involving in this destination what as a person i need to do to accomplish that destination how these things are coming into my that destination okay so one thing is what you just said it i want to open a old age home right now tell me this that's a physical that's not a destination that's something that say once you opened it then what no i will help the people right i got it i'm saying you opened it you had you you got people who are living in the old age home you are funding the old age home right you are helping then what mm-hmm. will that give you all the satisfaction in this life yes because i'm helping others i don't know at that point how I'll, how do i feel but at present i think if my main main thing is to help others or to 
to make other people ha happy, right? So that that will give me a satisfaction. So that's what I'm saying. So think that about this. Me, right? That will give me a motive. That what I have, a, I have some. See, if I have a life, there's a there's a purpose in my life, right? Everybody is born with some purpose. Huh. Right? Maybe that is my purpose. No. So let me ask you this. Let me give an example, right? Say I come to you and I ask you thousand dollars, right? Okay. You ask why? I'll say I want TV. Why do you want TV? Because I like movies. What type of movies do you like? I want all action movies, mm -hmm. right? Now, question is: I came to you with a purpose, and I said I want thousand dollars because I need one. But if you go deeper into it, it's not about thousand dollars. It's about watching movies. So if you don't give me thousand dollars, and if you give me something else, I'll still get my movies, and that is what my happiness is. Correct. The question I'm asking is: when you said I hope my I want to open a old age home, okay, for what? Is it because you feel sorry? about the old people and not taking care is it the daya which is causing it two is it an incompletion that you have to say i saw somebody do it i don't want to see it in with other people and somehow i want to do it it's not daya which is coming from you're basically saying i want to have a good bank balance now a good karma bank balance and i want to give something back and i'm thinking old age home is a good home good place to start or is it somewhere some point in time not in this birth maybe in previous birth you had an experience of old age related misfortune which is triggering your thought that you feel strongly about old age people now three things i told you each one of them has caused a complete different set of starting points for you so what i'm saying is if you start an old age home each one of them which has triggered you to go towards the old age home is not going to get solved if it is coming because you feel sad or sorry about them you that sorriness won't go away just because you opened one you need to figure out why do you feel sorry about them what is I making that sorriness mm -hmm. second is if you thinking no no i want to do something back to the society then you need to say okay why old age home as a society why did that trigger to me is there an experience which is causing me to go and say let's do something is it this life experience or is it previous life experience if the previous life experience has caused you then you need to make sure that you complete that life experience then okay. you will realize that old age home is just an outcome which you are looking for there is a deeper inherent part of it which you are trying to complete in yourself which is what i said at right? $1000 versus i the whole purpose is i want to watch many many movies through tv but i'm asking for $1000 Does it make sense? Yeah, but see, I got it. What you're saying, like in in your th you gave three um, examples, right? If I see second and third, right, as you said, maybe it may be incompletion. Maybe you saw in your life like that. Uh, second thing you're saying, maybe in your previous life it happened. It happened. Maybe in in your previous life you had suffered that thing, and it's coming now in this life. See, previous life I don't know. right we don't know about the previous life how it was you can know happened. you can know the incompletion that's why which is what the incompletion process comes into play or uh, you know vamsi sir also provides you with a there's an option where you do it right you know you get up in the middle of the night you take 32 breaths 
and you ask your masters to help you finish your completion you will pose a question mm-hmm. and then you take 32 breaths again and you sleep and you get the answer through through you know uh, dreams or could be anything right you, you will get the answer there are ways to get the answer for it my question i'm asking is what you are what you are saying right is a outcome that you somehow have created but working towards the outcome is not going to solve the inherent reason behind the outcome what you have to complete is an inherent reason why is it causing you that that why will give you a complete change the free will that time you can decide do you still want to do a old age home or you want to do something else so how how will i know that how i got it what you're saying once i know the root cause of that opening the old age mm. right then i will know then then that decision is in my free will if i really that's want your free will one after that if you do that's a free will currently it is not okay. a free will so how will i know about that then you're saying like if i do so basically there's a to so try this out again i have tried it it has worked for me many times so basically what vamsi said basically says is when you sleep tonight right mm-hmm. you pray to your masters that you should get up somewhere around between 12 to 2 okay that you should okay. should get wake up between 12 to 2 once you wake up in between that time take 32 breaths deep breaths in and out 32 times count it and then pray put this question there saying this is what i want to do i feel whatever sad sorry whatever be the case why do i feel it why is this thought coming to me and then go back and again once you finish that question that you pose in again take 32 breaths Sorry, thirty-six, thirty-six, not thirty-two. Thirty-six, thirty-six, thirty-six. Before pose the question, take thirty-six breaths again. Sleep. Somewhere you will see in the middle of the night, you will get either through dream or through almost like conscious movie, so to say, you will get an answer yes. as to why. and and like one more thing as you're asking right one more thing one experience i had was when i was in ninth grade mm. i used to go in the bus to go to school mm. so i still remember it so fresh i was like 13 13 or 14 and i can like a bunch of girls they came in that bus and they were so pretty and they were standing beside me and i was asking me that asking them the time mm. and that was my first second experience actually first experience was something else then they um, with the gestures they said i mean they uh, they were deaf they were not able to speak they were not able to do i didn't listen or speak they were not mm. able to speak anything so at that time that thing stuck in my mind even those cuz i'm still i still remember bloody face you know mm. and i felt so bad for them i don't know maybe that is the cause and Correct. before i went to school and we used to go to a slum area and we used to go to a orphanage places and i still remember there was like small small kids they were in the rooms the weights were on those way because those kids were so small they had to put the weight and there some kids were in the cribs they were like crying like anything i went only once i felt so bad and i still have the, those faces in front of me i don't know what was the reason behind it yeah no i'm saying see end of the day could be that See if the sadness or the sorry is your reason. No, that's so unfair. That's so unfair to them, right? Correct. That's what I'm saying. So, to what you need to find out is what is causing this trigger for you to say, "I want to open X," right? Now, tell me. Uh, the reason I'm telling you is this: mm-hmm. we prematurely sometimes go find a vent to open, right? Oh, by the way, if I do this. i will achieve something in life right but problem is yes it will give you good karma naturally you are doing good work something will come out of it but think about the destination that we spoke right 
where you want to be how do you want to get your balance sheet to zero is not going to help you with that i mean it will give you a good balance again it will give you a debit which you can use again for next life you know better than what you are having now but it's not going to take you to a path where you want to go towards nirvana for that you need to understand what is the root cause complete the root cause and even after you complete the root cause you say you know what it is not the sadness it is not good it was about being sorry to them it was nothing to do about it it's not about my i want to still do it now that's a free will so you're not doing because you feel sad sorry or whatever you're doing it because it's a free will i want to do it because i want to see i want to spend i want to make sure that everybody is good now you're doing it with a different heart altogether instead of a feeling a negative emotion no, or a positive right. emotion miss do, do anything with no with no attachment it just exactly. like you want to do it that's when it becomes a free will work otherwise now it is attached with an emotion that you somehow believe that this will help then may or may not be but there is some emotion which is also driving towards you that is what you need to find out okay. we'll try that breathing technique <laughs> try that i at least it has worked with me multiple times you know just pray before you sleep that your master should help you uh, wake up in the middle of the night once you wake up 36 breaths sit down wherever you are there down on the bed 36 deep breaths pose that question 36 breaths sleep i am sure you know i have seen that too when the he vamsi sir also says it 36 breaths i am pretty sure you will you will feel you will lose the count as to how much i breathe mm-hmm. is okay that basically means you are getting to a deeper you know deeper state of uh, breathing and meditation which is fine don't worry about that yeah. and one more question i have is huh? um, in the last to last class we discussed about um, um, so if if you are doing any kind of things right is that mm-hmm. strictly then there's a root cause for something maybe because in early stage it happened to you uh-huh. right i gave the example suppose if we have if if we don't like if you're in a discussion we don't like normally in office we just get rid of it and we come out of the meeting or something mm. right we don't give any opinion so to me i found the root cause okay but even to me that was like out of blue out of blue moon it came Mm. and i thought that is the own but still that thing is still in my mind you know, i think there is more i know the, there is one more something else too right there is something yeah. else too correct okay. exactly but only thing is once you figure that out your emotion might have become lighter yes it it yeah but it will still remain the, the nagging will still remain that means there is something just before that see i tell you one thing first time the way you react on an event right your actions remains exactly same every time that event or a similar event happens to you example somebody snatches your toy and you either you cried or you threw tantrums every time somebody take something away may not be toy but when your heart feels a feeling that somebody is taking something very close to me away your reaction would be exactly the way you reacted when you were a child between 7 to 10 you may not know it you may feel you are matured but your heart and your face will exactly replicate the way you did it so there are and so there could be multiple incidents where you will find so if your incident is making it little lighter but you are still not able to get away from it that means they just try to find out an incident which is just before that that means you are getting closer to that a first incident that happened where you had that you know flight attitude that i won't fight let's flight right mm-hmm. yeah 
because it happened to me as well because there were some of the incidents where i thought oh that is what is causing me i realized that yeah i'm consciously now aware but i'm not able to stop myself you know there's still that urge to react exactly the same way yeah you meditate a little deeper you will realize oh that is not the case there is sometimes generally i'll tell you mind some of the things are not even related to this life some of the things which came from previous life mm-hmm. right so it could be deeper to so just have to keep keep looking at it because there are some telling you right sometimes you will see a child say or do things that you would have never expected him do it because you never trained him you never told him you has not seen any movies he's a 2 year old or 3 year old boy but the way he reacted you will be like how on earth did he react the way he reacted right yeah that is not coming from this life it's coming from the previous life previous life but the previous life thing right uh, i mean i know you told us like look look your face in the mirror and try to remember that instant in my case i was just uh, uh, hearing some meditation class it all of that it came in my mind perfect but that no, it can manifest many ways yeah yeah but that that is for the this lifetime as you said like there's so many things which is coming from previous lifetimes right how yeah, will exactly. i know that then exactly same thing which i said right 36 breaths pose the question oh, okay. So if you you tried your best and you are not able to go deep, because I'm telling you that remember the exercise which I told before you go to bed you go back and look at the entire day come back and look from from morning to evening evening to bedtime right both sides. Mm-hmm. While you finish that work, if you pose a question immediately you finish the thing and you pose a question saying where did this come from, you will realize that you will get a flash. If it happened in this lifetime or previous lifetime, you will get a flash. okay because memory starts moving back once you make a habit for memory to go back and forth your mental neurons will start activating they'll start looking at things way way deeper okay is subconscious so continuously have to do or like 21 days generally 21 days your memory your your brain gets tuned Okay, so twenty-one days breathing thing, whatever you said, for twenty-one yeah. days. So, but to the breathing thing, you can do on a you know couple of days. It will be do, but I'm saying the morning to evening, the before bedtime, from morning to evening, evening to morning, right? Looking at your day through the lens of emotion. Oh, okay. That. Yeah. Got it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Next time we'll talk about Mandok Upanishad uh, about the four states of consciousness and how does it work? Yeah. Thank you, Andiya. We are over time. Thirty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.